guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So today we are at Autonami, special thanks for having us here today. And in this video we'll check out the all new 2024 Lamborghini Urus and this is the Urus S, the all new facelift. And in this video we'll check out the exterior interior, sound refs and also infotainment system and check out how amazing this panoramic sunroof looks. Okay, so let's start with the exterior here. So here we have the all new Urus S SUV and this is the all new facelift model. And we have it in this one of my favorite colors for Lamborghini and this is the Arancio Borealis. A well known color for the Urus. So I really think this looks very very stunning here with the sunshine. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So here is uh, how it looks. The lights are flickering because we don't have the engine on, so these are like a parking lights. But as we know with Lamborghini, these are the hexagonal shape lights and LEDs here as well. On the facelift model, the front bumper has changed, so it looks more aggressive and much more sporty. So you can see the whole new bumper at the front and also these cuts, they are brand new. Also here on the bonnet, the front hood, we have these vans, they are also new. These are in gloss black. So the car looks really fantastic in my opinion. Here we have also the radar and Lamborghini bull badge. The front middle is in gloss black. The whole front, so the car looks very like muscular in my opinion and it does look like a high SUV, like high riding. SUV for sure, so it more looks like it's uh, glued to the ground. And here we can see the side profile. So here in the sunshine, this metallic paint is really like this, sort of like a sunset orange. Here you can see it's more like a yellow, and here more like an orange. The coupe shape of the Urus is really stunning in my opinion. We can see it here from the distance. So the car sits very nicely to the ground. Also you can see the lower part here is in gloss black, which makes the car not as tall we can say. So you perceive with your eyes mainly what is in body color, not what is in the black. So the car looks more like a slim. And also here from the back, As well, same principle, the roof line is going down, so it has this coupe shape, the super SUV, and a lot of hexagonal shapes, you can see it everywhere. Also with this facelift, we have these new openings with the Urus S in gloss black on the inside. And yeah, this car was really popular and also is. So they changed just a little bit, we can say, but enough to look uh, different from the uh, previous model, which is usually the case with the facelift versions. You can see from this side how the paint looks in the shade. It's more dark and definitely shines more on the sunshine. So yeah, let me know what you think about this exterior design. Also, the B pillar is in gloss black, so everything like blends in terms of the window line. Everything is very, very nicely designed in my opinion. Also, the shoulder here is like a very muscular and overall really aesthetic. You can also see here these cuts, very angular and with this uh, hexagonal shape everywhere and also Y shape. So the wheels are totally uh, gloss black with these uh, orange brake calipers. 
So I think they are the same shade, it looks like that. And these are Pirelli tires. We can also see carbon ceramic brakes. Carbon ceramici, ceramici. Let me know the pronunciation. So you can see here like a, almost like a forged carbon for the brakes. And these are Pirelli tires, P0, 285, 35, ZR23. Also, you can see here, Italian flag with this triangle in the front fender. And also, uh, we can see here, wheel fenders are in gloss black as well here. So it looks very, very sporty in my opinion. Also, you can see here the front. So I'm really a big fan of this SUV and I'm not personally an SUV fanatic. Apart from like a G-Class, which isn't even like a SUV G-Class, is like a more like an off-road car. But uh, I really like the Urus because, yeah, it's more like a normal car, not an SUV. But still usable for everyday uh, activities. Here is the new badge, Urus S, as in white here. And the rear tires are 325, 30, 23. And you can also see the caliper on the back. So this paint is really like a masterpiece in my opinion. Here almost looks like a yellow when I look at it, but here is already like orange. So really cool. And of course on top we have the panoramic sunroof, as well as this like a shark antenna here, and also the spoiler which is like a thin, so if you don't look closely, you may not even like see this spoiler, which could be a good thing, not, is not too much out there. So the spoiler is not like too much out there. You can see like a small opening there, more aerodynamic and more like a flushed with the boot. Also we have here this black lip, which is not small for sure. Here in the middle is like my fingers, so not a small one, but good looking. Also, the lights are connected with like a black bar with the chrome Lamborghini branding. And here we can see the diffuser. This one from the top is cosmetic, but uh, yeah, more or less it's cosmetic, I would say, the diffuser, but looking nice. Also, exhaust. Here with collaboration with Akrapovic, Lamborghini and Akrapovic. So makes really great sound this titanium exhaust. So here we can see the boot. You can check out the liters and cubic feet on the screen. This part which covers what is on the boot is also connected partially with this one. So nothing moves basically. This one is connected to the boot and this one to the car. And here you can see how much space do you have. Here you have this like rubber uh, mat for protection with Lamborghini and some accessories, stuff like that. So very cool in my opinion. Also first aid kit. You can lower the car if you need to load something heavy into the car. And yeah, you can close it here with touch of a button. So yeah, I think it's time to Hop in the car and check out the interior. All right, so now let's check out the interior. We have soft closed doors and frameless. So we have double glazed windows, as you can see here, and frameless doors, as it's the case with the Urus soft close. And here at the doors, we can see the Lamborghini. And we have here the interior, which actually matches the exterior in terms of the color combination. So here we have two-tone interior. As you can see here, we have also orange and the black, also lower part of the dash is in orange. Also check out here the seat belts. They are like absolutely stunning in orange, matching the interior very nicely. If you take a look here, how it looks with the seat, Everything is very nice in terms of the configuration of black and orange. So check out here the 
formats have a trim around in orange so the pedals have a Lamborghini design on them as well as here in the speakers Bang and, Bang and Olufsen here, hi-fi system and you have memory seat, you can open the tailgate and you have bump buttons for the windows here so all in all really great in terms of the matching the exterior and also the interior also as you can see here in the doors it continues the orange one orange combination and this car is so silent for a performance SUV it's really crazy this is how the front looks from the rear let me know what you think so as you can see we have this beautiful performance steering wheel we can move it here with the button on the top we have this like uh, aluminium 12 o'clock marker and the steering wheel is in a leather with Italian flag here and Lamborghini Bull logo stitching is also in orange and yeah here in this case we have this really beautiful in my opinion spec which combines the orange and black one in terms of the colors very nice stitching, this is like a honeycomb in orange Uros branding, orange stitching also the Lamborghini Bull logo on the headrest and this panoramic sunroof has actually the cloth so the cloth is not see-through uh, we can open here the cloth so you can see the window is tinted uh, of the panoramic sunroof but you can fully close it so it's not too hot also the top here has like a microfiber or suede leather on the top very smooth and here we have the mirror and light and this honeycomb also like a design in the vents and the amazing speakers Bang & Olufsen as well here so they pop up when you uh, enter the vehicle and start it up so yeah very very nice here you change the driving modes actually so we have here the anima selector strada sport uh, more sporty, Corsa the most sporty then we have Sabia, Terra and Neve Neve is snow, Terra is like a, a ground and or, or gravel, Sabia is sand so different driving modes, also the RPMs are raising at Sport and Corsa for the more uh, dynamic driving this is very nice what Lamborghini has, this like a switch which you need to open like in the fighter jet to start the engine I think this is very very cool and I really like this also the Ego so here you can change the uh, drive then you can change the steering so here you can change like a drivetrain steering and suspension so you can change between these then you have manual here uh, park and uh, reverse also, uh, if you want to go to drive, you need to just pull the uh, right pedal and then you go into the first gear. But you need to have a leg on the foot on the brake. And here you press P, it goes back to parking. Alright, so here are the infotainment system. I also filmed the blue example. Also, we have this like uh, Lamborghini, I think this uh, protective film over the screen with the Lamborghini Bull logo maybe you can see, yes, check it out I think that's a protective film very cool in the end how this uh, looks here we have a radio, you can connect your phone then you have your radio, media, telephone, navigation, phone apps all those favorite settings help, users, etc etc then you have these like widgets so very very cool, also here in the Urus section you have a Lamborghini Anima so this is for the driving mode, so you have Strada, Sport, Corsa, Sabia, Terra, Neve then we have car information, seats, AC, light vision, parking aid, driver assist I, I cannot go over everything because I'm, uh, uh, I don't have enough time today but uh, yeah, you can see here also hazard lights, some additional buttons and here with this display control the AC so you can see uh, really easy to check out all the functions two cup holders adjustable also some buttons for the parking cameras we can check it out here so you can see the corner view you can also select here with the 
3D, overhead view and a bunch of other settings. You can see here, you can check it out from the side, from this side. So very, very cool in terms of the cameras as well, 360 view. So here for the armrest, we have a place for two arms and also a place for a phone, some storage space. We can close the sunroof now. You can also open it if you need ventilation. Today it's really hot, not gonna do that. All right, so in the glove compartment, we have some storage space, as you can see here. Pretty spacious. And the trim here is in gloss black, as you can see here, this is like a piano black also here so overall i think it's a it's a nice spec and fits the exterior uh, very very well and here we can see the rear section of the vehicle which we can check out right now all right so now let's check out the back also here at the doors we can see the lamborghini let's hop inside we can close the door Soft close as well for the doors and I have to say it's quite spacious here so as you can see quite spacious here I think this is solid I would even say 10 centimeters like 4 inches uh, quite a lot of room we have some storage space here all right so in the middle we can see the settings for AC and also here we have the 12 volt socket USB-C ports for my legs I have enough space to put them under the seat so overall really comfortable space to be all right, so in terms of the rear headroom, I have about, I would say, that's about solid seven centimeters, maybe even more. So I would say like three inches to get out a lot of headroom. And then 186 centimeters or six feet and one inch. And here you can see the rear section of the vehicle. Also, here we have the armrest. The armrest is good for two hands. Also, we have here two cup holders, which you can deploy. Everything clicks into the place and very nice seats here as well. You can see how the roof slopes here with the Urus and here is a look at the panoramic sunroof from the back seat. Very spacious, but still you can feel this is a coupe shape so it's going down the roof line, but uh, yeah, it's not bad for sure but uh, you notice this for sure. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified for all future episodes. Thank you very much for your support.